Thank you. Uh, so these two works form part of my body of work for the semester two in my last year of high school, and the unit was entitled um, Along the River. So we were encouraged to focus on the spiritual connection with the river rather than just literally what it looked like and um, also what it meant to us. So I was completely baffled with this brief when I first got it. I wasn't entirely sure what to do with it because I had never really done landscapes. They just seemed a bit foreign. So I, um, I decided to do a lot of research rather than just jump right into it. So I looked at how other artists had approached landscapes and I also looked at, um, I did a lot of, of my own research, taking photos and making my own practice drawings working on this composition. So part of that was just going and taking photos at different parts of the river and at different times of the day to see how many aspects of that I could capture. And another part of it was going down to the river with an easel and my paints and painting from life so that I could experiment with my colour and my composition. So they were initially quite traditional landscapes and styles, so river, ground, skyline very panoramic and um, I wasn't very comfortable with how they were turning out so I started doing line drawings using um, a pot of ink and a stick just figuring out different textures I could create and different ways of conveying the river without actually having to convey a river and from these drawings I created more abstract paintings that were very linear and often quite detailed and directional and I really liked the approach that I got from that. So I started drawing landscapes, not of the river itself, but of the scenery around it where you could glimpse the river. So that's where I got the idea for branches because they both allow like, an interesting pattern, but they also um, filter light through them in such a way that the river almost glows at certain times of the day. So I. Um, I started researching again and I stumbled upon this artist, this Australian named Andrew Brown and he, at the, I think last year, he started doing works that were mostly um, stark white branches against a dark ground and they almost seemed to become something else because of it, something spiritual rather than just a picture of branches. So when I was working, I started to take reference photos that were a lot more busy in nature and then turn them into something for myself because I find these kind of scenes like near a bank with branches a lot more peaceful than I do just the standard landscapes of rivers. So uh, this painting was my final painting for the year whereas the print was a, it was an extra one that I tacked on like right at the end, very brushed. And um, the painting was a challenge due to the way I decided to paint it. Rather than doing the background and then going and doing the branches afterwards, I decided to work with the negative spaces drawn out and paint around the branches first. So my painting, for the majority of the time I was working on it, had these white lines in between it with the background seeping through. And it wasn't until nearly the end that I decided to actually paint the branches. And I'm, I'm quite pleased with how it turned out, considering that I was a bit apprehensive about a landscape. But uh, the print was more my thing because although that we were asked to do a painting, I am primarily a printer as far as I see myself. And so in my spare time, I decided to create the liner cut. And it is the same image, but I think because of the change of meaning, it can completely change its meaning. And, um, it is very much a tangle rather than a place of serenity. So I feel that by making a stark picture out of black and white rather than the gradient seen in the other one, it becomes almost abstract. But one of the things I did experiment with was turning it on different sides to see how it changed. And um, I displayed more than one of them like that. 
and ask people for a response. And they went, oh, is it a reflection on your life in year 12 with the tumultuousness? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, it's a river landscape where it's meant to represent this sense of peace I felt. And they went, oh, okay, nice try. <laughs>